Hello everybody, my name is Paul B.J. Ransbury and I'm here today to talk to you about the NBAA Safety Committee's efforts to overcome and reduce the risk of loss of control in flight to its membership. I'm currently the lead of the Loss of Control in Flight Working Group at the NBAA Safety Committee and I'm also the president of Aviation Performance Solutions, a company that's been dedicated to addressing loss of control in flight for the past two decades. In November 2015, the MBAA Safety Committee, through its Single Pilot Safety Stand Down, uh, put together a series of presentations to help focus on the learning aspects from a video that was developed that year called Alone in the Cockpit. It was also produced by the MBAA Safety Committee. And this day on 16 November 2015, there was a series of four presentations put together to help the attendees not only understand the video and watch the video, but how they as pilots could assess their knowledge and their ability and their skills to understand what loss of control in flight is, how insidious it is, and how there's usually a chain of events leading to a loss of control in flight situation, and how they could overcome this threat. The four presentations included, first off, a presentation by the Honorable Earl Weiner uh, by the NTSB, and he was focused on the loss of control in flight statistics and how it is a top focus area of the NTSB, which of course is also a top focus area of the MBAA Safety Committee. The second presentation uh, was a great presentation on preventing loss of control by Mr. Tom Turner, uh, the Executive Director for the American Bonanza Society Air Safety Foundation. The next presentation was given by myself, titled Dealing with Out of Control, You and Your Aircraft. And then the last presentation integrated Dr. Noel Dirksen from Garmin International, where he talked about aviation-based technology to reduce loss of control accidents. In the series of videos that follows, we're going to help reproduce that learning opportunity that the members of the uh, audience had that day to not only look at the video, but to hear the presentations to try to glean the lessons learned.